Hey, hey, it's W5HRO. Well, it's been a while. I haven't done a video, haven't uploaded one in quite some time. I've been kind of busy. Uh, I've been working on my noise problem. I, uh, I developed some noise this last summer on the bands, on the HF bands. And I, I first thing I did was I ordered one of those little pricey, those DX Engineering Pro, what they call it, Pro One Loops, whatever it is. It's got the mass mounted preamp, and I had it up on the roof, and it uh, it nulled things out pretty good, but I couldn't completely get rid of the noise. It took like care of about half of it or so, and then uh, uh, I uh, lowered it down. I, I we had somebody put those high definition satellite dishes on the roof back on the corner of my daughter's room, a lot lower on the other end of the house. So I moved the loop over there, and it's working better. But what I had to do to get rid of the rest of the noise is I had to buy one of these uh, DX Engineering NCC-2, uh, you know, phase boxes. And this thing, <laughs> with the loop, I can basically, what I'm doing is I'm using the loop for the sense antenna. Then I have my big vertical running through this thing for channel A. And I can, I can tune this box, believe it or not, even on 20. I can eliminate the noise down to about no. I can reduce it down to about 90%, maybe 95%, and I just have a little bit left. But this thing's amazing, and uh, right now I have it tuned. I've got the noise cleared out on this part of the 40 meter band. See how this bluer part is here? On more noise. Before there was noise all the way across, and see now I got it dark where I'm receiving. There's still some foreign broadcast on here too. It's not quite over yet. It's already, what is it? It's like uh, not, almost 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. There's still some foreign broadcast stuff coming in, believe it or not, a couple of them here and there. So uh, there's one right there on the end. See that how you got it? There's one right there. So uh, there's one, there's a light one right here. This side banner is right off to the edge of it. Now, if I wanted to, I could retune the box and I've tried this. I can null out that foreign broadcast station to where I just hear this, the one you know, amateur station. So, and what I've done is too is if I t put on the the BC, the the you know this takes this redu eliminates carriers, it eliminates heterodynes. I don't know if you can hear. I can hear that you can hear that carrier in there again from that foreign broadcast. Now I can I can use the box and I can tune it out, but it's easier just to come over here. So I don't mess up my other noise null on the other part. So, uh, but you ought to see what this thing does up on 20 meters. I got bad noise on 20, and this thing takes it down to like no more than maybe five to 10 percent remaining noise. It works great. So uh, these boxes are not pricey, and the loops are not pricey. I mean, I'm sorry, I said that backwards. These uh these things are not cheap. These boxes are not cheap, and the loops are not cheap. Price these things, you're gonna have a heart attack. But uh, what they're doing is they're selling the engineering. But this thing's not like an MFJ. I call MFJ mighty fine junk, you know, because it is. It's cheap junk. You look at the wiring and the circuit boards. It's crap. This thing is designed rather well. This thing doesn't use cheap wiring. And it's laid out. I mean, this thing is well constructed. So this thing's not a, not an MFJ piece of junk like most of the MFJ stuff is. So I ordered the. Uh, I have uh, six slots here. One for this side here is for uh, my vertical, my A channel, and then this side is for the B channel for the loop. And uh, it also powers the loop. You you run the power into this, and it goes out through to the loop when you have it turned on. So. Uh, I don't have to have that awkward box. Where's that awkward box? Everybody complains about these boxes. Here it is. This, it's got cable connectors going out every which direction. The switches here, I mean, it's just, this thing is, I don't know who at DX Engineering came up with this thing. My advice is to throw, get rid of this, take the board out of the inside of it, relay the whole thing. I mean, re, take the design, change it, put it in like a smaller box that looks like this. Like what's that, what is it, that one RTR2 box? Make it look something like that. Get rid of this stupid, This everybody hates this box. So hopefully somebody will be watching that in the future and they'll, they'll see that people people can't stand that horrible box that comes with the loop. 
So uh, this, this makes it work better because you can power it up from here and all the connections are in the back like they should be. They ought to redo that cheap box they're throwing in there. I mean, that, that can't be, that cannot be that much. The other box, the brown box with the stuff in back, couldn't be that much more than this one. Maybe just a little bit. Just raise the price on the loop up 10, 20 more bucks. It's already high enough, but you know, hey. But I've ordered the, uh, I ordered their protection board here, which is just diodes and stuff and a transorb. Then I ordered the, uh, I ordered the 160 meter high pass filter to roll everything off down below about 1.65 megacycles to keep all the man-made noise down low from getting through. Then I ordered the uh, 75 to 50 ohm adapter because this is 75 ohm coax for the loop. That should help a little bit. Then I'll see how that does. Then I, what I'm going to do is on the A side, I'm going to buy the uh, protection board and the 160 meter high pass filter for that. Then I'll probably just leave the top one with the shorting the shorting board in there. But uh, I've got room for six more boards that modify this thing to make it work better. Now, they actually sell bandpass filters for this. You can put a band, they have all different kinds for like specific bands. But say you put the 80 meter bandpass filter in this thing, well then you're going to need another one of these boxes. You'd have to have one for each bandpass filter for all the bands. So you'd, have, you'd be buying more than one of these things, and these things are not cheap. Trust me. Price them on their website. You're going to have a You're going to go, oh my God, that thing costs as much as this amplifier cost me below. I'm not kidding. It was about the same price in the end. That's how much this, this box cost. But uh, hey, if you want to get rid of your noise, they work like gangbusters. So I just kind of want to show that off. It is working. And today I'm out, so I'm going to get up on the roof. I've got a, uh, I bought one of those 10 meter, what they call it, the Moxham beams. It's a dual band beam. It covers 10 and 6. It's like a two element Yagi, but the, the, the ends are folded in. And, uh, and it's called the Moxham or whatever they call it. So it's a, it's a compact beam. I'm going to put it up there where I had that loop because I just had some E mounts up there on the roof and they're not that strong. So I wanted a compact beam for at least 10 meters. And uh, plus it had six, it's my radio has six, I can get on six now and play around. But eventually I'm going to put up probably another beam. I'm going to put up one that has, you know, 17 and 20 on it and 15 too. But I just wanted something small on top of the house that wouldn't look bad. That it's just going to be just, just above the roof about three feet. It's not going to be very high. So just so I can use it. So that's all for now. It's Thanksgiving weekend, it's Saturday, and uh, I'm going to try to get that beam put up by it before the day's over if not i'll get it finished tomorrow so uh but then i've got like i said i got the loop up and uh, i'm gonna have that beam and i got my vertical so i'm getting my antennas all situated then i gotta i gotta i gotta uh what do i have to do i have to uh i have to lay down the vertical because i'm gonna add that wire and that relay up about where the guy wires go so i can add that horizontal wire so i can connect it and disconnect it via that relay so uh try to get the, the stations in closer and stuff for like you know local communications and stuff might even help with the stuff far away at night too but the vertical i'm telling you that vertical like on 75 my full height quarter wave vertical works like gangbusters but anyway i just want to show you this box and do another video because since i hadn't done one in a while and uh just want to say hello and happy holidays and uh as soon as i get everything up and get everything running i may do another demonstration on this NCC, I'm sorry, NC, yeah, yeah, that's right. I thought I said NNC, NCC2 uh, phase box for antennas to reduce your noise. So that's all for now, 73s. This is W5HR and an O.